Hi, I'm Bob Coles, KnowYourZero.com. I'd like to talk to you today about reticle position in scopes, whether it be first focal plane or second focal plane. So stay tuned because we've got a lot of information we're going to cover. Hi, welcome back to KnowYourZero.com. And once again, we're in the shop and today we're talking about optics and you probably wonder why I've got a couple rifles set up here well they're very similar both are M98 Mauser actions both are chambered off the Winchester 284 cartridge custom barreling 22 284 Wildcat 6 millimeter 284 Wildcat they both have 4 to 20 by 50 optics on them the difference is we have a second focal plane and we have a first focal plane you can see by the image up here, on the second focal plane, the focus is behind the turrets. So it's more toward the eye bell. What that creates when you're looking through the optic is you're gonna get a crisp, dark reticle. And when you increase magnification, the image grows. So when the image grows, the math you do on a mill dot is going to change. It won't be the same at low power as it is at max power. Each manufacturer states their own power where you can do the math. Uh, some are 10 power is where the mill rad works. But if you crank it up to 20, it throws everything off because the image is larger and the bracketing looks smaller. So you have to take that into account. Um, a lot of times beyond 500 yards there's a lot of math and head games going on to try to make that quick shot and that quick kill. Where if we transition over to first focal plane, if you can see in the image up here that the focus is ahead of the turrets. And what that does is when you increase magnification, the reticle and the object increase in the same proportion. So in the math aspect of it is the math at 4 power is the same as the math at 20 power. So when you're bracketing an image regardless of the yardage you just do the same math when I mean, you're spot on. The issue with the first focal plane and if you watch my first video link when I did a test review on the Pentalux TAC VF when I was dialed way down to 4 power and it was a bright sunny day and the reticle seemed to wash out where I turned on some illumination and I could see them. So that's all first focal planes have that inherent wash out of the reticle. You're not gonna get that on a second focal plane. It's gonna stay dark and bold and thick regardless of magnification. So what I did on the second focal plane to get around of doing all the head games and the math was I used uh, ballistic tape on my turret and I have it set up for a point blank range. So this particular rifle out to 480 yards, I have a two inch kill zone. I can hold dead on to anything out to 480, squeeze the trigger and I've got a kill shot. And I just dial in all my dope that's already on there. So I did that to make it easy and not have to do math and think on a second focal plane because I like how this has a thicker reticle regardless of in the dark woods, sitting on a hill on a bright sunny day it's nice for that. Uh, this one out here I like because when you're doing long shots, math is the same and you just go with it. You don't have to worry about getting the tape, is it calculated right and all that. So with the two focal planes, is one better than the other? It's a decision you have to make. What's your application? It's going to be hunting, um, light dark, light dark, or precision shots way out there. Um, so just kick that around on what you want to do as you can see on the two images I have up here the focus tubes are located differently which explains why on this one the image grows and on the second, first focal plane they grow at the same rate. Both awesome setups, both hold zero, uh, great money for the glass so just do a little research and decision you have to make and uh, stay tuned because I've got a lot more videos coming up. Hit the subscribe, hit the little bell so you get notified right away when I have stuff coming out. And also down below in the description, uh, I've got a link for some money off on Hilux Optics. So check that out because it'll be worth your time. See you later.